Hey there, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the YouTube channel dedicated to Sam Miguel's Day and Day Secrets. Today we're going to be talking about why mountains matter, particularly for the indigenous. As always, in the descriptive box below, there are links to other websites if you need more information, including Amazon.com, if you wish to go out to the uh, Amazon site to purchase any of the books in the best-selling series, Sam Miguel de Allende Secrets. The pre-Hispanic indigenous placed much importance on mountains, far more so than their own pyramids that were considered a poor substitute. Why were mountains so sacred and grandly celebrated this time of year? To begin with, we can cite the way in which the ceremony dedicated to the Festival of the Mountains, called Tepehutel, was celebrated. Tepehutel consists of religious processions that began at dawn with Taloc, god of the rain, priests. These festivities and sacred parades featured long lines of people who joyfully hiked in a group with the intention of reaching the top of the natural elevations near their village. Once the procession reached the highest point of the mountain, people placed their offerings at the temples to Toluk and built upon these peaks. Then came banquets, singing, dancing, and gratitude for both the past and the future rains while the attendees waited for the sunset and onset of the dry season. However, thanking the, for the past rains or in question coming rains were only just one part of the Taputo festival. Celebrating the mountains went beyond just the purely agricultural aspects of the mountains represented surely beyond purely agricultural aspects. As the mountains represented, pardon me, the bridge between the world above and the underworld. Every very high mountain was considered to be home of the Taluk because it was said that the mountains guarded the entrance to the underground paradise a perennial vegetation and exceptional beauty. Plus, a Guanajuato mountaintop was the birthplace of man in central Mexico region of Mesoamerica. The mountains were the true pyramids of the world, since they were built and placed upon the horizon by the gods. Consequently, mountains were more sacred than those built in stone by man in a vain human attempt to honor the gods. For example, the Popoteco volcano you pass on the way to Mexico City Airport was considered the most more sacred than the majestic pyramids forming what was, at the time, the largest city in the world, pictured there to the lower left. For the first Mexicans, it was necessary for human settlements to be by bodies of water in the mountains. The indigenous word for city was a combination of, quote, the water, the mountain. Just like the Eastern practice of Feng Shui, it was important to build your home by water, providing food and a mother figure, and on a mountain, providing safety and a father figure. A river or lake provides fish and enables the land to be fertile. The mountain is a natural fortress to which populations could flee to take refuge in times of flooding. Just like stories of Noah's Ark, there are ancient stories of a great flood here to punish the earth. Mountaintops became islands with a deluge into the endless sea, offering survival. Once the waters receded, survivals came down to restock the valleys believed to have occurred here in central Mexico between November 15th and 18th. Tepeputl's dancing and singing on the summits crystallizes the love the heavens feel for the earth and all its creatures while it's still reenacted today. In addition to dancing and feasting, children are encouraged to create their own version of the Tlaloc, as pictured there to the right. As always, feel free to click the subscribe button below and you'll get notifications of new videos as they come out here on the only YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende's secrets.